Welcome to Elle's Nails, where it doesn't take a million bucks for your nails to look like a million bucks. Today, we are doing holographic nails as our nail art challenge for the 52 week nail challenge. And so um, I also started my Valentine's Day looks. So I have this holographic nail um, and a holographic stud accent nail on the ring fingers and then I'm stamping this very lovely uh, heart pattern it also says love on there um, and I am putting that on my other nails so it makes this very nice red and holographic look um, I started out with a um, Broadway silver and it's from my Broadway gel collection and then on top of that, I have the Milan Chunky Glitter. That's a holographic glitter. Um, it's very nice. Um, and I picked the silver because um, instead of doing the sponge technique, I painted it on like normal nail polish. And with the glitter as the base color, um, it uh, all of the hollow shows very well. It's also good because... Um, it shows very well with the accent nail as well. So uh, we're going to start with the accent nail. Um, this is from my wheel of um, of studs that I got um, like uh, right before Christmas. I don't know when how much it cost anymore. I think I got like twelve wheels for ten dollars or something, and they normally go for a dollar a piece. So that's good. Um, <laughs> my tweezers just melted. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to get your tweezers near um, acetone because my my little tweezers lost their face. <laughs> All right, sorry, distractions. All right, so for the studs, I have picked out ten studs here and I'm just using some um, Dollar Tree nail glue and um, we are going to put them on one at a time. I have a um, jewel picker upper thing. I don't know what you want to call it. Well, you'll see a lot of like wax pencils and stuff um, but I have this little Bali jewel picker upper. It's a wax tip. Uh, you can pick them up at any craft store you don't have to go to a nail store and they cost like a two dollars and you get two of them so um, I'm using that and it picks up nicely even on this silicone mat um, because a lot of things don't pick up well on silicone because the silicone grips it so I'm gonna do each nail individually I'm gonna add a little dot of nail glue on each one of these And then I'm going to place it. Voila. So um, I'm going to do all 10 of these. And you just repeat that same thing over and over again. And if you need to adjust, you have a little time to do that. So um, I'm just going to do all 10 of these and then I will be back and you can see my gorgeous ring finger. Alright, we got that nail all nice and pretty and holographic now. So we're going to move on and do some stamping. Um, I have a napkin that I'm going to put down because I'm using uh, red polish and that stains and I, I don't really feel like cleaning my mat. Alright, so um, for this I am using my broad or Bundle Monster Red Polish um, and I am using my Twinkle Tea Clear Stamper as always and I am using a old um, Gold Pass that uh, is not, not good anymore because it's winter. <laughs> uh, first thing we always do is clean all our surfaces 
to make sure everything looks good. Here's the polish. Um, I also recommend if you are doing any stamping that you have some um, acetone free nail polish remover handy. And as long as you have um, put a clear top coat on your nails before you stamp, then um, you can easily wipe off with the acetone free stamping polish or acetone free nail polish remover and not ruin the polish underneath um, as long but it is a one-time thing so if you do mess up more than once on a stamp then you might have to start over all right so i am using this um template that has this heart on it and it also has love and well it doesn't actually say love anywhere but oh there's love there's a love down there it says love in various different letters but you don't see the whole word so I'm going to paint it with my red polish and depending on um, the nail you might want to cover the whole thing or you could just do one end and scrape um, because I'm using this card instead of the scraper that I used in the past I do tend to have to cover the whole thing with a thin coat um, not a thick one and then a nice gentle scrape down and then an up and down motion on the stamper and you get a nice clean image and you just uh, simply align that up with where you want it on your nail let me get you into focus I got a new camera here and I'm not quite sure on the placement but there we go And there we are. We have a nice, lovely um, nail stamp. Um, it is a little matte when we do this. So your holographic doesn't really show through too much. Once you put your top coat on, everything turns out shiny. Um, when you are doing top coat, not all top coats are created equal. So make sure you have a good top coat that doesn't smear your images. And um, when you do this, you want a nice thick coat and you do not want to um, actually touch your nail. You want to glide over it with this top coat. So nice thick top coat. Try to use as few strokes as possible, and then I'm capping the edge, and it makes for a nice shiny look now. And my lighting is terrible today. All right, so finish that up by cleaning up around the edges with a cleanup brush and some acetone. And red just stains like crazy. So if you do not like cleanup brushes, feel free to use a liquid uh, latex or tape or whatever kind of barrier that you prefer. But I prefer actually the cleanup because even when I do use a uh, liquid barrier, I still have to clean up. So um, I prefer to just clean up with acetone. Um, now if I was doing something like water marbling, I definitely would uh, use a um, barrier because that just gets everywhere. But this cleans up pretty nicely with a cleanup brush. So that's it for this time, and we'll see you next time. The theme next week is feathers. What, no, sorry. No. The theme next week is leaves, which I think is kind of pretty interesting because it's right before Valentine's Day. Not sure why we're doing leaves in the middle of winter, but um, I have something and it also involves feathers. So come back next week and you can see that new look.